people say you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing and it's totally true and the reason is uh, is because it's so hard that if you don't any rational person would give up it's really hard and you have to do it over a sustained period of time so if you don't love it if you're not having fun doing it you don't really love it uh, you're gonna give up the ones that are successful loved what they did so they could persevere when you know when it got really tough and and the ones that, that didn't love it quit because they're sane right who would want to put up with this stuff if you don't love it so it's a lot of hard work and and it's a lot of worrying constantly and uh, um, if you don't love it you're gonna fail so you gotta love it you gotta have passion Make a choice right you just decide what it's going to be who you're going to be how you're going to do it just decide and then from that point the universe is going to get out your way You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company. I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I gave myself uh, five years, or three years, maybe. and. Uh, and uh, I dated it Thanksgiving 1995. And I put it in my wallet and I kept it there and it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff. And, uh, and uh, but then just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was gonna make $10 million on, I think it was Dumb and Dumber. you make it happen because you know that it's possible judge not according to appearances don't judge your circumstances and the possibilities for your future based upon what you have now and because of what's going on now no 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 that's not the real reality there. What you're going through, if you're going through some hard times, it has not come to stay, it has come to pass. It's all right. Now, second thing is, repeat this after me, something you should affirm to yourself every day. Repeat this, please. No matter how bad it is, or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. Say that to yourself every day. As I used to say to myself, I, when I would get up in the Penobscot building and I had to go into the bathroom and, and bathe in the bathroom sink, I had written on the mirror that I put up, it just paste up and I read, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. So you've got to have faith, you talk to yourself, you say that affirmation. The next step is, you must have patience and engage in consistent action. Patience and engage in consistent action. See, everything does not always happen, ladies and gentlemen, when we want it to happen. It doesn't happen quickly. So, in that process, they have something in the Far East called the Chinese bamboo tree. The Chinese bamboo tree, every day it has to be watered and fertilized. It's a very hard nut, nut and, and it takes five years of, of watering and fertilization every day, according to American Geographics, before it breaks through the ground. At any time, if the watering process and the nurturing and the fertilization process is stopped, the Chinese bamboo tree will die in the ground. Now, once it breaks through in that fifth year, then in 
Six weeks it grows 90 feet tall. Now the question is, does it grow 90 feet in five years or six weeks? The answer is obvious. It takes five years. That's how long it took to grow it, to build that foundation, to nurture it, to water it, to build the reputation, to build the credibility, to learn the market, to learn people, to learn yourself, to learn the system, to learn how to do it, to figure it out. That's why you must have patience and engage in consistent action. bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it. If all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it, and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after this thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold poverty, famish or gulf, sickness or pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, if dogged and grim you besiege and beset it, with the help of God you're getting. You were born to win.